Hello there, I'm Matthew Hold, and um, I'm going to show you uh, a few things in uh, Autodesk Maya, uh, some tips on uh, 3D modeling. So, if you're stuck in uh, your own project and you're having a hard time 3D modeling, well, I'm going to give you a few tips here. Uh, they won't be that much, so let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to do is now is uh, use a cylinder. I just recently uh, using a new technique for my 3D modeling. So uh, lately, I've doing, I've uh, modeled a plasma gun weapon, um, and also I'm also doing a spaceship design. So um, this is how I start out my 3D modeling here. So I have a cylinder here. It's just plain, nice and simple. Um, so this is how I construct my mesh. So what do I do is uh, I select the faces and um, what I do now is uh, duplicate the faces. You can find it under edit mesh and then you can see duplicate face somewhere around the center. And what it does here is it duplicates the face off from your main mesh. Yeah. Um, if you go into your outline panel, you'll see it's in a group. So what you, I suggest you do is uh, ungroup it and delete history so it has no linkage to its uh, original mesh anymore so now it's its own mesh so what we did here is we duplicated the face rather than the whole mesh itself this gives us uh, more flexibility in our the design so let's take that away and what we have here now is our own uh, duplicated face and what we could do with this can be is limitless, pos limitless possibilities <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, yeah, you can just actually do anything here. So, especially for spaceship design, is really really useful. You can get all those uh, nice sci-fi, edgy type of uh, designs there. So, I'm just doing a quick basic one. Now, now you, all, what you can do now is um, you just extrude the faces, and uh, yeah already got something there. It's more effective. You get your mesh out straight away, the base of it. So it's really cool though. I like this uh, process. It's really helped a lot for me. So yeah, that's just the basics of it. Then you can just probably duplicate it and who knows, you can turn it into something else later in. Um, I won't go any further. Um, I'll show you some examples I've used for my uh, uh, for this method, um, this spaceship design here, I've used the exact same method. Everything here has been uh, duplicated from the face of the cylinder, or have been um, uh, duplicated from the me from uh, the mesh of the duplicate face. And uh, well, these two I just uh, use cylinder. So yeah, this is how I apply it to my design here. This whole thing here was actually a. Uh, around uh, in a cylindrical uh, face and what I did is I just tweaked it out so you have limitless possibilities with it and uh, for the gun as well I've also done the same thing here I started out with actually this mesh and then what I did is um, I just uh, duplicate face and I got all these uh, designs here you can make them really really uh, complicated looking designs I'm not sure if this looks complicated to you but it'll do for now. Um, yeah, and then you get that shape around there, especially when you do weapons and spaceship designs, they actually are round, so roundish in some sort of way, so it really, really helps as a starting thing. So anyway, um, that covers one part, and uh, there's another part I want to cover um, on a few uh, tip on uh, 3D modeling, and that is uh, the use of adjacent tool. The adjacent tool is actually a plugin for Maya, but um, if I recall correctly, um, it's also part of uh, Soft Image, Autodesk Soft Image is part of the uh, features that you can use there. So this is a plugin that I recommend you to download. It's really, really useful, and I'm going to show you how it works. Well, at least I'm going to show you how one of the options work, because um, in Adjacent Tool you have adjacent verts adjacent edges and adjacent faces so 
I'm going to show you how I use uh, adjacent faces to my advantage. So what I'm going to do now is create this tentacle robotic like shape like the one from uh, the matrix a very complex pattern so you can achieve that in uh, minutes uh, we can achieve that in minutes rather than hours by just using this simple tool of course it's not going to look really awesome or anything it's just uh, demonstration purposes so don't expect too much from this tool I mean don't expect too much from what I'm doing right now with using this tool but this tool really gives you a lot of uh, advantage in modeling it's one of the few uh, plugins that really really help a lot especially for Autodesk Maya where uh, as compared to 3D Studio Max it's not um, well I wouldn't say not efficient but um, you wouldn't get your uh, 3D models done as quickly as compared to 3ds max or even blender because they have uh, some tools that really are useful and uh, shortcuts that really get the job done quickly but then again it, it doesn't matter though we, we have uh, plugins for Maya that will um, let us do that anyway so I got my basic mesh here and I have to uh, make sure like check for these because these are not connected so these won't work when we do our um, adjacent thingy, adjacent selection, sorry. Um, yeah, so you see problems like these, you gotta correct them yourself because I'll show you what I'm supposed to be doing here. So let's see, I wanna uh, select an edge loop, uh, face loop, sorry, and uh, if I keep doing this manually, it's gonna take a long time. So you can probably imagine this whole stretch here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna only select one face loop and I'm going to click this button uh, repeatedly all the time adjacent faces ah, crap I just lost it there all right so what it's going to do is it's going to select all the loops adjacent to uh, the faces that you've uh, selected so it's skipping one loop anyway I'm going to stop to here because you got all this checkered patterns here so we're just for demonstration purposes just going to show you so you can extrude it and you'll get a result and uh, yeah that's it that's all you got here right now it's just very nice and quick very uh, decent here and I'm going to show you how I use this in one of my projects the, we'll go back to the plasma gun and as you can see at the barrel of the plasma gun um, earlier my minor crashed so I had to restart this uh, um, program so like I was saying earlier this is how I used uh, my adjacent tool for my uh, 3D model um, for these two I used the Taurus oh, no no sorry not Taurus it's the polygon pipe and uh, I used the uh, adjacent faces for that to extrude uh, the uh, faces I wanted to extrude and also I used the cord here so yeah it's pretty nice to look at and it's pretty useful as well but the thing is I have only used it f three times that's all but I don't know what you could do you could probably do it way better than me you can have more usage for that compared to me but I haven't really found any other way to use that yet so I'm still exploring with the adjacent tool I actually only recently used it uh, not long ago so anyway then that covers the basics of duplicate uh, faces and adjacent selection I hope you find this tutorial useful if you do please subscribe there will be more uh, tutorials coming your way on uh, 3D modeling tips. Uh, thank you very much. This is Matthew Ho signing off.